Hello everyone, this is Garrett, and this is Bioshock 2, and we are going through the amusement park, and since the last time I played, in between sessions one might say, I changed controls around, I can now actually do this, which might help aiming a little bit at least. Also, L is no longer the button for listening to an audiobook thing, which is good because it's a stupid button and why would that even be the default? I also can pick stuff up with E. Like, I changed a lot of stuff around. A lot of it is now just, like, from Bioshock 1 controls, basically, again. Because they make more sense. <laughs> who the- who presses L in any game that requires, like, WASD- whatever. We're, um... We're just gonna move around a bit. We're, we found a lot of locked doors so far. Not really leading anywhere, but... In a second, I'll follow that arrow to an amusement park, and I'm gonna ride all the rides. And it's gonna be great. I hope to see Mickey Mouse. Though I, I imagine he's probably not in Rapture. Also, I really hate Mickey Mouse. So there's really two things that might not go very well with one another. But I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Ah, I don't like it says we are but the stones to pave the way to the amusement park. And uh, yeah, I <laughs> they even put a tent here so you can rest between amusement park sessions. Nothing can go wrong here. There's coffee, canned beans, anything an amusement park could possibly need. It's right here in this town. We will be reborn. She is our salvation in the amusement park. You think, you know, I, I imagine this all has to do with lamb because lamb has been a pretty prominent part in all of this. You, you'd imagine lamb would have a lamb as an icon. It wouldn't be very original, but why butterfly? There probably is a reason why a butterfly. But right now I'm just like, why a butterfly? I don't understand. I need someone to explain this to me. I'm gonna listen to this diary. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. All right, new plot twist. She's a robot in the end of the game. Like, it turns out she was a robot all along. Oh, fucking clown! You think you're so funny! You think I won't slug you one? Well, someone doesn't enjoy clowns, and I thought my outfit was pretty good, but given that there are clowns on every vending machine, you might consider a different thing to hate. Due to the... if only due to the sheer prominence of the clown figure in this particular world. I imagine we're gonna go back to pick all this up. 50 caliber rounds. Dollars? I can't even pick up dollars from the ice cream. I mean, you have a block of ice cream for festival goers to enjoy and it's like you're not even gonna give it to me whatever I'm gonna hack this thing with the E button I don't know what all these colors mean anymore but I got some drill fuel I'm still sad about this it's staring me in the eyes with crying clown tears knowing that it was once capable of speaking and now they've removed all of their voice boxes in between games Scotch, sure. Health is always more important than Eve. And if we can choose one or the other, choose an health. Because uh, Eve is pretty good. Man, this is a p pretty bad amusement park so far. This is the only ride I've seen. And it's a decent view, don't get me wrong. But in an area where, like, everything's made of windows, you don't really need to go to an amusement park to look at this. Like, you can just look outside any window and you'll... You'll actually have a better view because this just points to a building. In, in fact, out of every location they could have placed this chair thing, they... they pro I feel like they should have reconsidered other areas first because this is just silly. Do you want to see a building that kind of looks like all other buildings? Now you can sit here! Two dollars! You don't like it? Four dollars! You do! To Ryan oh. Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. I'm a children under three. I would like to pay half price. I'm in the lobby. 
Something goes to all trains. Is this the ju- ah, Why is everything locked? Why is there only one set of doors that works in every room? Truly. I, I just want to explore, but you're giving me little exploration options here. I haven't even pressed the map button yet. That's how that's how easy it's been so far. You know how hard it is for me to go into a room without checking my trusty map. And here you are, only giving me one option every time. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I, I believe with his my, with my condition, he means that I'm currently unable to shoot fire from my hands. And in the future, I will be able to shoot fire from my hands. And I'm getting one step closer to Fontaine Futuristic, so all in all, it's gone pretty well. Security inventory, you know, to scare off your people with some- Oh, hey. I was gonna say scare off your people with some guns, but then I saw that beauty. And it calls to me in ways you don't believe. Open, please. I need this in my life. Beyond rational belief. Give it to me. Okay, we're we're gonna come back to this. It's it's sparkling. I'm guessing we won't be able to use these because we're not human, and only humans can use pistols and Tommy guns. At least that's how it worked in the previous game, sort of. At least I never saw a Big Daddy with one. So there you go. Hat. Yeah. There will be no hats here. I will be the only one wearing a hat, and that hat is invisible to everyone who's currently watching the series. I wouldn't mind a third-person view in this game, actually. I kind of want to see what I look like all the time. But I don't think Bioshock ever had a third-person view, actually. Bow to the people. What do I want? Drip, drill, drill. Oh, this is what people were talking about back in Bioshock 1. That if you buy all the upgrades, you have access to another one, I guess. Neat. We're making this thing stronger. Because this is actually a pretty useful thing. And... Oh, I should have made the drill stronger. I immediately regret my decision because drills are awesome, but I'm sure we'll find more power to the people machines. At the end of the previous game, we basically upgraded all our weapons fully. How dare you turn off? Did I give you permission to turn off like that? I don't think I did. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll find all the upgrades. Also, this is a better view than the chairs over there. Like, why, why is this not the chair area? Well, well, I guess it's because this is probably the security room. And you're not really supposed to be here. But there's jellyfish. And buildings. The jellyfish all seem dead. But, you know, it it's the thought that counts. It's still a better view. Dead jellyfish is still a better view than the, the view you've given me for $2. It wasn't even $2 either. I just imagined it was. And there's someone sitting over there, watching the TV. Watch it be like a corpse. Watch it be Andrew Ryan come back to life. Even though I'm still sure he wasn't dead. The old sheepdog. I was hired to engineer a park, the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Well, to be fair, I learned a lot about Andrew Ryan. He was the main character. It was, it was this entire... Rapture wasn't dedicated... Oh. Hack the door controls. That should pop it open. It's... I mean, it's literally glowing at me. I kind of figured. There's a remote hack dart here. There's a refrigerator. I lost my train of thought because of you, Mr. Texan. Why can I not just go through this? I mean, come on. It, given the state of this, a uh, big daddy dude, uh, whatever. Door control. I beg your pardon, that's not. Huh. So apparently, if you just select a weapon several times, you actually switch between ammo types. That's kind of neat, actually. This is what I wanted to do. Boom. Uh, okay. Bop. That was a dangerous one, but I chose it anyway. Man, why didn't I get a blue option there to hack it even more than previously? Turn around. Oh, 
He doesn't look so good. Is that me? That's not me. Hey! Pay attention to me! I'm far more expensive, given my antiquated nature. I am... I am much more vital to your survival. I like his position though. He was like, yep. This is how I'm gonna die. Casually. And that's what he did. Living the dream. Ticket! I got a golden ticket. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard a whisper near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Why can't I just hit one of the things? Why, like, why can't I not just hit one of the little sister dispenser holes that were also used in the previous game? And then I'll just like, I'll be like, hey, little sister, I'm Big Daddy. Also, I'm sorry. And then, you know, that would have worked, I feel. Oh, baby, you are the nicest thing that's ever happened to my life. Did you really just break that? You, you flying did you break it or didn't you? I can't really tell. It doesn't look that broken. I know he was getting a drill inside him in a second, though. Sneaky drill. Stealth. I'm stealthy. Stealth! Ah. <sighs> This is a good game. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this looks far less impressive on my actual arm than it did in the in the thing. But still. <laughs> oh, someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die horribly. First person I see is getting a mighty shooting in the face. Oh, the sound effects in this game are really pathetic, I forgot. But still, enjoyment is gained out of this gun. It's really not that good. <laughs> I think I'll go back to this one, because at least I'll be a little bit more accurate this way. But you gotta go with... Oh, jeez. We're just gonna go with this. When given a practically a minigun, you gotta use it, you know? I used up pretty much all my ammo to do that. But it was the enjoyment of the situation, I feel. I kind of wish that I could just take sound effect volume and raise it by about 500. And I feel like then the game vo like the game's sound effects would accurately depict what I want them to tell the people. But right now, I'm just going to have to take enjoyment out of the sheer size of that cannon. That is current. That is currently strapped to my arm, and also currently pretty much out of ammo. Well, hmm. All right, journey to the surface. We're in the park. We're hopefully gonna find some clowns. Curfew sign. Journey to the surface. Gonna be great. I am Andrew. Oh. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. Wow, that's even the same song that they used to introduce people to Rapture in the original game, wasn't it? Sports boost! You have picked up your first gene tonic. Those are passive abilities. They don't need to be activated. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what is that? Oh, you move faster. Awesome. That was a lot of slots, by the way. Uh, that was a lot of slots. That was more slots than I expected to see for passive abilities. I also like the idea of a free sample for just like the first person who actually entered. And his doll is terrifying. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> oh, hey. That is pretty fantastic. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect it to happen, and I definitely also didn't expect it to be done in several parts. That was... That was good to me. There's also an invisible wall. That gets minus points, but I'm gonna give you the plus points for the sheer ability of letting me knock off someone's arms and head. I don't think I can get on here. Ooh, I made things sparkle. <laughs> okay, uh, I, th I think it's safe to say that the game does not want me to go there. 
Also, you can kind of tell my mouse sens like sensitivity from this because the cursor is actually going really fast. The actual aiming in the game is pretty horrendously slow, and uh, I don't know if there's an option for that somewhere. But it seems not to not change when I change my DPI settings, which is odd to me. It's also odd to me that there's a large c amount of 50 caliber rounds just lying around, but not going to question that one. It's just one of those things that occurs every now and then, you know? Sometimes you just have no place to put your 50 caliber rounds other than next to a small box. And when that happens, well, that's what you're going to have to live with. And that's what we're going to live with this day. Ooh. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. That is the quietest robot voice that I've heard, or rather not heard, in a long time. And the music is very distracting. Click it. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform. Nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. But that's fine because I can just use video editing to make the game volume a lot louder. And then this music is gonna get really obnoxious, but not to me. Whoop! After initial supplies have been brought to the sea floor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected health. I wish there was, was some more movement in these things and that uh, it was louder because I don't know where this music is coming from, but I kind of want to shoot it, whatever it's emitting the music from. I'm gonna play this tape now. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! And then Donnie accidentally dropped the entire display. On Lady Omegle, and all was lost. It was a sad day, and the last day there was hope. Look, there she is. That is the memorable moment where her wooden leg was. Her foot is a shoe. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna. Can I. I can't even listen to this event! And it barely looks broken. Like, this was the part where it says the end rapture, and then. Credits roll, and then I beat the game. After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. I heard a noise, and it startled me. I don't think I want to listen to these things anymore, because they just sort of tell the story. Although, it does, I did mention in the previous game, I wonder if there's a thing that tells me how they built Rapture, and indeed now they sort of do, so... Kind of I do kind of appreciate here. that. <laughs> Everything's really big here. Where do I actually want to go? El Dorado Lounge. Well, that's like the horse definitely the last the place where I want to go. Someone so, must be on the property. The bank sent you, didn't they? The bank sent you, didn't they? I am a drill board arm! I feel like that is a pretty reasonable response to someone asking me if I was sent by the bank. I have a drill for an arm, followed by drilling them in the face repeatedly until the target is subdued. Hall of the future. Uh, there's so many... I could go to the gift shop. I, uh, uh, I mean, I don't even know. Oh, Gatherer's Garden. I guess I need to actually go to one of these at some point. And the El Dorado thing is the goal. I guess in the end, I might as well actually just go there now because I need to go back to that train again anyway. But now I'm already in front of this door and I feel conflicted. So I'm gonna just go forward. Did someone just call me a busted pile of gunk? Because I take great offense to that. Hack it. 
It was probably your clumsy uh, fat hands that loused it up. Typical fraud. Hector, no, damn it, Stay cool. From things you don't know nothing about. Boom, 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 boom. But surprise, surprise, I was there as well. And I shot you in the face. Thank you, little friend. You and me are gonna go places, except you can't move. Uh, Seems what is... like everybody's on the go these days. Everybody but you. You still haven't experienced Ryan Industries' new spring line of plasmids. Isn't it about time you got caught up? Evolve today. I want to evolve today, but your microphone clearly needs to do some evolving first, and I'd rather you put some money in that, because that was very loud and obnoxious. And no one enjoys that. No one. Oh, I can buy 50 caliber rounds here. Let me hack you. I always forget what the button is for hacking things, which is really awkward. I'll buy one of these. I'll buy some of these, too. I'll buy a lot of these, actually. Why not? I don't think I need more rivets. I'll buy some of this as well, because it's, it's really fun to use. I really enjoy drilling people in the face, as one might have noticed. And it just feels nice to be able to do that. It feels nice to just get your hand in someone's face and then spin it repeatedly. And they won't be a problem anymore. I wish I had fire coming out of my hands. That would be so good right now. I guess I might need fire coming out of my hands to actually explore everything, so I may actually have to go back bothers me a little not gonna lie then there's this place the museum of people who were once here they're all robots too oh that's fine surely that means none of them are gonna attack me at some point but just in case i'm gonna decapitate all of them because i'm not i'm not feeling this place too much I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling this place in the sense of I would really enjoy being here some more. I mean, there's even a Vita chamber. Vita chamber. Vota chamber. Chamber of voting. Remove VI faces. Yao? What does that even mean? Just remove your arms and faces, and I feel a lot more comfortable. Gather's garden. Hello. I have no atom. Can I buy incinerator? I need 90? Jeez. What a ripoff. 